So I've been through a few iterations of my cooking setup for camping. I've been trying to keep things simple and lightweight and as compact as possible. And increasingly I've been wanting things that collapse down and store in a very small space because it just opens up a lot more space inside the car. So let me show you what I'm using. So most of the time I actually cook with this stove, uh, my bigger stove and oven combination. I do use it sometimes, but usually that stays in my storage unit. It's just too big for the car most of the time. Uh, but this little compact setup works really well and it works the best in the wind. A more recent addition that I haven't actually made any videos about is my Farberware ceramic knife. So I bought this knife actually kind of on a whim at a grocery store because I couldn't find my regular knife, but this has turned out to be the best knife I've found so far for camping. The first reason you can see just looking at the knife is it has this guard on it and this keeps the sharp blade from cutting through bags or whatever I'm storing this knife in. Uh, it's completely safe storing it this way. I don't have to worry about getting cut and I don't have to worry about anything else getting destroyed. This is the knife itself. It's just a ceramic bladed Farberware knife. And the reason why I like it so much is because, first off, it's ceramic, so it doesn't corrode. I never really have to worry about sharpening it. I wouldn't say it's the sharpest knife I've ever used, but it doesn't really go dull. And that means I don't have to carry a knife sharpener around, which is really convenient. And it works really well. I can cut just about anything I want, and it just cuts it reliably. It's easy to clean, although if you look closely, you can see that it is slightly stained. And I haven't found a way to get that off, but the more I use this knife, the more stained it gets. And so at some point I'm gonna have to figure that out. This is my most recent acquisition, which actually you guys paid for by clicking on my links in the description. I was able to buy this set of pans and dishes. And as you can see, it's a really compact setup. So let's open up the top here. So first off, you can see it comes in this nice netting and it has this carabiner thing, or however you say that. Um, obviously not for climbing. It's very lightweight, but it actually is pretty solid and it's enough to hang this set of pots and pans and stuff off something if you need to. And opening it up, you can see we have first off the lid for the pots and pans. So, so this here is a little mini cutting board. As you can see, I haven't actually used it yet. This is going to be my first time using this. Uh, we have two plates. So they're kind of plate bowl hybrids, but they're both metal. There are several different versions of this that you can find on Amazon, and this one just happens to be metal. Uh, this also is the version that is meant for two people. Uh, I don't think there is a one person version that I saw, but there definitely is a version for four people, and I think even maybe eight people uh, that have uh, eight of these plates. Uh, but these are just relatively small, should be easy to clean, should be very durable. It comes with the sponge thing, at least they call it a sponge. It's more like a scrubby pad. It's not really spongy. Um, when you get it wet, it just is for scrubbing things. It has this uh, water absorbent cloth that comes with it. And then we have here, we have uh, two cups. Each of these cups has a lovely, I think they're called koozies that you can put on the outside if you're putting hot liquids into them. We have two of these bags. So these are the silverware. Let me pull those out really quick. So these are folding silverware, so uh, they unfold like that. This is the knife, and it actually is kind of sharp, surprisingly so. I thought it was going to be more like a butter knife or something, but um, you could actually probably cut stuff with this. Uh, this is a spoon. And this here is the fork. There we go. That's the fork. So these utensils you might think are actually super flimsy, but um, they're actually not bad. Uh, I wouldn't say they're the most solid utensils I've ever used, but they're definitely not the flimsiest either. They're just perfectly adequate. I wouldn't go like uh, digging around in something really solid with a spoon or something like that, but if you're actually eating something with it, uh, I think they're actually more than enough. So here we have a lovely tea kettle. Uh, the handle folds down like that, but it's a just very lightweight tea kettle. And then here we have the pot. So the handles, uh, they fold out from both sides and they don't really lock together exactly, but um, it does form a actually very sturdy handle. Um, and it's a decent sized spot. So you can put a lot of stuff in here. And again, there are versions of this that have larger pots and pans and they have more place settings as well. But this is just the two person version. And then the last piece we have here is a frying pan. 
And so that unfolds like that. And it is a nice little frying pan. It works really well. So these are all very lightweight. Um, they have some sort of coating on them which says it's non-stick. So I don't know what that coating is. I couldn't find anywhere that said. I'm going to skip using this frying pan for now. I'm actually going to use it tomorrow morning and that will appear at the end of the video. But for this meal, I just don't need it. One thing you may notice is that this is a very small cutting board. This is a larger than average size jalapeno and it takes up almost the entire cutting board space. So for this reason, I probably would switch to using my wooden cutting board most of the time. It's slightly larger and probably a little bit more useful, but in a pinch, I think this actually could work pretty well. I'll be honest, when I'm cooking, especially when I'm camping, I'll just buy the pre-cut or the pre-sliced uh, food because it's just a lot easier and there's a lot less waste that I have to deal with. But I don't, I don't always do this. It just makes life a lot easier. I managed to fill up most of the pot in a very short amount of time. So let's add the beans and let's get it cooking. Well, it looks like everything fit perfectly in there. I'm just going to put the lid on here and we can fire up the stove. I'm going to start off with the stove on a low setting because I'm a little bit worried about this pan heating up a little bit too fast and I don't know what kind of coatings on here and I don't want to burn or melt anything on it. So let's give it a shot. Well, that didn't take too long to heat up at all. One thing I noticed about these spoons is it was trying to fold itself while I was using it like that, um, but they actually have a feature to stop that. So when you, if you fold that, there's this little piece on the handle that if you push down, it'll keep the spoon in a spoon shape instead of folding in half. So that's actually really clever. Okay, so my stew here is done. The only thing I wish that this set had was like a wooden spoon or something so that I didn't accidentally scratch the surface of these nonstick pans. But other than that, these work fine and I can find a wooden spoon. In the meantime, I set the tea kettle on and it looks like I do have some hot water there. So I happen to have chamomile tea with me. It's the only tea that I have, but it's fine. It's uh, supper time anyway, so why not? So put the tea bag right there. Well, I know it's not the most beautiful looking thing, but it should be tasty. Overall, I'm very impressed with this kit. I will try out that frying pan first thing in the morning. Uh, I don't have a good wooden spatula to flip things over with, but I'll do my best. Well, I definitely foresee myself using this set of dishes and pans quite a bit. They just fold up so compactly and they have all the silverware you need, just everything you need for a functional kitchen. And it hardly takes up any space inside the car, so they are really perfect for camping. I'll put the links to these down in the description below if you want to go check them out.